What's going on there, folks? Uh, good afternoon once again. It's the Earth Master here on the live stream uh, about 4 o'clock here on the West Coast on this Wednesday afternoon, uh, June 29th, 2022. Got another earthquake coming in here to the South Carolina region. Uh, this is again coming in as a 4.5 earthquake into the same area as what we had seen uh, just a few hours ago in the South Carolina region, right around the Elgin area. Uh, EMSC reporting this earthquake coming in just a few minutes ago as a 4.5. Uh, looks like a, they may have downgraded it again um, to a 3.4. Let me see what the USGS here is reporting. Looks like these guys have it set as a 3.4. Uh, again, just coming in a short time ago, about five minutes ago here around the South Carolina area within the vicinity of the Elgin area. And uh, man, I tell you what, things are getting pretty active here in this region. Let's go ahead and check out um, a little bit of specifics on this. This is the most recent earthquake, not the one that occurred a couple hours ago, but just here within the past few minutes. A moderate uh, shaking once again around the Columbia area, South Carolina. Uh, did you feel it responses here? Showing quite a few rep uh, reports once again in this area of South Carolina, Elgin, South Carolina area. Uh, let's see what else we got for the... Um, the waveforms here, we'll double check some uh, stations real quick. See if we can uh, get this to pop up quickly without, uh, let's see, let's check out the station here in Florida. Now that kind of picked it up there pretty nicely as well. There's a couple other stations around the region. Indiana, I'm sure picked this up. Um, again, this type of magnitude will be felt over a wider area. Uh, stand by for just a second here. Let's see the depth. Is that right? Negative? Oh, no, that's a 0.3, so that's pretty shallow. That's actually uh, shallower, I believe, than the other one we've seen this morning. So things are uh, kind of looking a little active here, folks, in this region. 13 stations reporting. Let's check out the... Uh, Let's check out the uh, details here real quick. We only got two rep reporting. Let's see what we got for magnitudes. Uh, now sometimes these stations will give, these, a lot of these are showing under the 3.0 threshold here for that, uh, for those magnitude, for that magnitude 3.4. Um, 3.9? I don't know. These guys have been kind of bouncing it up and down all morning. The same with the EMSC. So a little bit of uncertainty as to what's uh, the, you know the correct magnitude out here. But we know something's going on. That's for sure, folks. A lot of uh, a lot of movement taking place out here. And again, I'm going to show you guys the hazard area that we might want to watch uh, around the East Coast. There's a couple different zones here down by the Charleston area. And, uh, of course, back over here uh, towards the Tennessee area, eastern Tennessee, it looks like. Um, and also over within the area of the New Madrid zone. So there's three large areas that are capable of producing some sizable quakes. Um, in our time, no, we, we haven't really seen anything large. I think the 5.7 we've seen in the uh, uh, Virginia area uh, quite a few years back was... Uh, uh, about the largest one, but things can get pretty uh, pretty large in this region here of the Carolinas. So got to watch this pretty closely, folks. Increasing activity such as this and more shallower activity could be leading to something much, much bigger in the area. Um, it's not, uh, not all that common to see a lot of earthquake activity like this popping up in this region. Uh, let's see what we got for any aftershocks. So, so far today, the last 24 hours, we had that 3.5 this morning. Uh, a couple small aftershocks down there around 2 to 3 kilometers. And the most recent quake, a 3.4, separated away from the swarm area by maybe a mile. It is the most shallow one at 0.3 three, uh, three kilometers. Uh, I'm sure there's quite a bit of trees out here, but we'll go ahead and check and see what's out there. Uh, looks like it's pretty populated right underneath something right here. What, somebody's house out there? Digging a tunnel? Who knows? Definitely uh, quite a few houses it looks like out there. Uh, not for certain on any uh, power plants or whatnot. 
not a whole not too familiar with this area don't get a whole lot of earthquake activity out here so kind of a new issue for me but we're keeping an eye on it and of course uh, we'll provide further updates as they become available again if you guys did feel that earthquake there um, in the South Carolina region just now give us a heads up what what did it feel like was it uh, stronger than the last one kind of curious because uh, EMSC came in as a 4.5 and then downgraded to 3.3 now back upgraded to a 3.9 so what's going on we'll chat you guys uh, a little bit later on the update stay safe out there